Our next guest... Now, this is an interesting occupation here. Yes. The man buys ghost malls all across the country. He buys them. They're abandoned, they're run down. He buys them. And then he converts them... This is unused retail space. Converts them to something else. That man on the screen is sitting next to me. Scott <laughs> Scheel, the founder and president of the Commercial Academy. Okay, have I got it right? You do. You go after these ghosts. Well, you don't go after them. You go mm. for them. You buy them. But what do you convert them into? Because there's, there's too mm. much retail space around. You're spot on. You know, there really is too much retail space. And what, what you're seeing is, um, you know, we talk about Amazon and its impact on retail. Uh, Amazon and online sales represent less than 15% of the overall marketplace. Mm. So there's a ton of uh, solid activity going on in the retail space. That sector has largely been its own problem. What's killed the malls in most uh, cases has been new malls and developer profits that come from you know, building bigger, shinier, you sure. know, more grandiose facilities. Well, look, if we don't need all this retail space, and we've got a lot of it... That's true. What You buy it, but what do you convert mm. it into? Like gyms or churches? What do you do? Yeah, so what you're dealing with is the category that has the most location-specific... <clears throat> Uh, data and analytics uh, of any category in commercial real estate. So it's the most well-located real estate in the country. Unfortunately, mm. because they've doubled down, and when you build the new shopping center uh, and you talk about the, you know, the Victoria's Secrets of the world, they've, they've got to locate in the new mall, too, which means they cut down their trade area, they divide their customer base by half, they're paying astronomical rents, and so you know, it's been that cycle that's you know, caused okay. and created the problem. What so what we do, do you do with them? What, well, do you, what do you turn them into? Yeah, so what we do is we look at the, the value of the land itself, right? A lot of times it's adaptive reuse, so you'll take in, and what we're seeing because of the, ta the tax cuts, uh, the manufacturing, the distribution centers, and the way that the marketplace has changed, our big boxes are being repurposed very well for distribution, manufacturing, mm -hmm. light industrial, those types of things, and doing incredibly well. And then when you talk about some of those most well-located, you know, B and C malls, you talk about what happened with uh, general growth properties and the, you yeah, know, the acquisition well, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, that was really to preserve the Class A malls. Okay, but I'm, I'm really interested. What the devil are you going to do with the ghost malls? Yeah, uh, so, so several things that we're doing currently. One is adaptive reuse and turning it into, again, distribution warehousing. The second thing that you're yeah. doing is you're taking down some of that space and making it a mixed-use facility. Wait, wait, you're taking it down? You're knocking it down? Knocking down big chunks Bring of in it. the bulldozers. Bring in the bulldozers, clear the land, get rid of those arcane boxes. Again, you know, I talk about, you know, the Sears Roebucks of the, the world, the J.C. Penney's, the, um, you know, yeah. the, uh, the, the Woolworths. Okay, okay. They I, were the Amazon of their day. I want to know what the tenants, the new tenants, yeah. do with this repurposed land. I mean, I, I yeah. see some churches moving mm -hmm. in. Absolutely. And that's really not a, an ideal use, right? You kind of want to stay away from that. Not that we're anti-church in any way, shape, What's or wrong form. With, oh, come on. What's wrong with you? Because you get a throng on Sunday and you're vacant the rest of the week. Ah, <laughs> okay. Right? So and, they can't afford a lot of rent. Right. You, and you want, that, you want that synergy. You want tenants feeding off of one another. So retail today is a much more experiential okay. uh, situation than it was years past. Yeah. So, okay. I've got it. Okay. You, re, you bulldoze. You repurpose. Yeah. Redo the bo big box. Distribution centers. Centers, Turn the, the malls inside out. Church. What else? Who else moves in? Well, we're working with, like you said, um, you know, fitness facilities, service providers, uh, restaurants, retail facilities that that attract traffic, but not necessarily relying so heavily on apparel, footwear, and things of that nature. And they are not the new guys are not going to be paying anywhere near the rents. Absolutely, the old guys. That's correct. And but the the thing here is, is and that, you're buying pennies on the dollar, aren't you? That's the truth, right? We're buying at a huge discount. Big smile. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right. What, 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 what about Health, job. What about healthcare, yeah, you know, yeah. That's, walk in clinics and the like. Absolutely, healthcare is a great uh, a great backfill uh, sector. Uh, what you deal with there is the opportunity for, uh, again, really well located facilities, um, mm -hmm. an opportunity to deal with assisted care. Uh, where you've got amenities that are based really on property, it's, uh, it's a real opportunity. There you have it. Uh, what's, uh, Scott Shield buying for pennies on the dollar, <laughs> turning it around and making a fortune out of other people's misery. Oh, what a guy. Uh, Scott, he's, no, seriously, he's a good man. He's a good yes. business. We appreciate you being here. Well, thank you so much. Sure, thanks, sir.